Well, welcome back, everyone. It was a carry forward from yesterday's market move in markets today. Not a burst higher that sustained, but one that kept us in the running for this market to potentially respark the rally. You're looking at the SPY right now. You're looking at a daily chart going back to the early part of 2022. The highs in Jan 2022, lows in October, the halfway marker. You've heard that story. You've heard Rob and I talk you through that pent-up demand there and the breakout potential. Now, of course, after that big burst up in markets that took us to highs year-to-date back on the 15th of June right over there, well, we saw the week after, led by the Friday actually there on the 16th, be a relaxed down. And then we followed through a little further on Monday this week. But since then, we've seen a nice turn, especially starting yesterday. Is today's move just looking at the basic of chart formation, price behavior on a daily candlestick chart basis, is it giving us enough insight? Well, there's some basic insight here. I sure am going to give you some uh, views of the tools that could give us a little enhancement on here. But we're in the upper half of yesterday's range. We stayed above the center of the weekly pivot range, uh, which I affectionately call the mattress. And we managed to eke out a close on the SPY, the official close being 436 bucks and 39 pennies. And after hours, we're actually holding up currently at uh, 436 and about 66 pennies. So the market had a little burst up right into the end of the day and uh, has closed above a big key number that is important from uh, many aspects. Uh, and that's a big positive. Now, is it matched by the behavior on the Qs, which were a key index to help us get up here? The Qs did close above the mattress. That is positive. And, of course, made higher highs that were more significant versus yesterday. The Russell, which was already extended yesterday, was able to also further extend and close out at a higher high versus yesterday's range high. These are all positive things. The one thing that was negative was the dollar didn't come down enough into the close. It was on a run up today. It actually closed closer to being up and above a structure of resistance. That could be a problem, but it, don't want to split hairs, did close right at the area where there is an equal chance for a pullback versus a move up. Momentum still suggests that this uh, bad boy could move up. So I'm going to exercise some patience and caution on what I'm interested in over the next day or so ahead of the long market weekend, where in markets next Monday are going to only have a half day, and uh, Tuesday for July the 4th will be closed. And in Canada, they'll be closed on Monday. So as we move into the end of this week, at the end of the quarter, there's going to be some deck chair rearrangement. One of those areas that I think folks may be interested in beefing up on is this spot. Now, I'm not saying that's right for you. Consult your advisor. That would be gold and silver. I'm looking at them as opportunity areas that may become opportunity as early as tomorrow morning, but not, unfortunately, into the close did they give us the signals that I needed. So what are the signals that I'm looking for? Well, remember the TRP classes that we... Uh, that you heard me talk you through over the last week and change. So what you've got on screen right now is the SPY. You've got it, uh, and the SPY is positively correlated to things like silver, for example, so that's the relevant connection. The SPY on a four-hour time frame is in a spot right now where the signal from four bars ago is still intact, and the probability for a rise is still there. And it's a higher probability that the rise continues. And effectively, that four-hour chart, before we look at any other time frames, you see if I can make that a little bit uh, bigger here for you on screen, very clearly is all about the big, big move up in markets, relaxing, profit-taking, resetting, refueling, and then restarting. So the restart is what we're looking at. Tomorrow, anything above, of course, highs that we would see from this bar right there, which were, was earlier, we would then have the opportunity to go, okay, this is now in a spot where up, up, and away becomes a much higher probability towards that target one. The signal did appear with the blue dot in the subchart for those who have been TRP students and have been focusing or refocusing in on it with me. It did appear slightly above the top of the channel, uh, subchart channel, making it a on the higher probability side. Now, the one-hour time frame, kind of leading us into the end of the day, ended the day with a TRP buy. And that is a positive. Now, that buy needs to stay intact as we move through the after hours right now, of course. 
but the five minute and one minute did help with the uh, stability on that signal. The SPY is still holding about 436 and about 65 pennies. And I was able to do some positive trading with folks uh, in the live active trader room today. I was trading the ES um, and did well on that earlier today. Uh, and we got some good long side trading. We got a good long side trading into the end of the day as well. Uh, and you can see on the hourly chart, we do have confirmed targets at 440. Uh, sorry, 44.40 for the ES, uh, target one, target two at 44.60. So this would be in the realm of re-sparking the rally. We're right in that gray zone where it's leaning to do so. So partial longs, okay, but looking for continuation tomorrow, break that negative divergence to continue. And I'm going to be teaching a lot about this and much, much more at the upcoming Wealth 365 Summit. Now, it's really easy to get registered, and I'm going to be having multiple sessions there talking about and teaching about and showing you live trade examples, reviewing trades that were done with real money, and how they've worked out, and what were the uh, do's and don'ts, and where did I learn, where can I teach you. All of that's going to be coming together with some strategy sessions and outlook sessions that I've never done before. So it's going to be a very, very important summit to uh, uh, attend. It's going to be chock full of great speakers, uh, and Rob and I are going to have multiple touch points there, so we're going to be with you for a good chunk right through it. The point is, sessions on strategy and outlook and tools and techniques in the summer this summer, in a market that is still in flux, that still has the chance of outsized moves, that is a market where you've heard us use the tools and rules that we've taught you and provided you insight on well in advance and what did you see well you heard me talking about it late march you heard me talking about it throughout april and it was this entire entire area that's going back to when the last summit was if you remember where you kept hearing me say i think we're going to be chipping away at resistance and eventually break out this time's going to be different well strategies tools techniques that all came together to help me help you identify that there's a change in market here that we may be seeing something different well guess what we're gonna be doing that and a whole bunch more with trading strategies for day and swing traders of all asset classes and I look very very much forward to seeing you there you can simply type in joinzad.com into your URL um, uh, in your browser window or you can click the link in this email and you'll pop the page up that has your registration ready to go I'd get in, get the seats in, make sure that you're all ready to go. This is the world's biggest online financial investing active trading event out there. And we've got the top pick of the litter for those that contribute to it. Looking forward to seeing you there and at those sessions and in videos just like these in the upcoming future. Have an incredible rest of your day and thank you for watching.